guys welcome back to my channel today I'm really excited to be sharing with you guys some of the cool things I found at the drugstore I actually went to the drugstore a few days ago and I was so amazed with all the new products that are out so I picked up a few things just to be able to do a full face of drugstore and I was able to find um some eyelashes that I'm super excited to try out I've been seeing them all over YouTube and I was super excited to get my hands on them so yeah um, let's get started so to start off I found oh actually I already put a moisturizer on my face I didn't buy a new moisturizer or anything but I did find a new primer and it's this Milani uh, prime light face primer strobing pore minimizer so I'm super excited to try this because um I'm pretty sure that like it says is strobing which if you guys don't know what strobing is it's pretty much the opposite of contouring you just uh, highlight the peaks of your face that um you want to highlight and that's it you don't contour and it's supposed to give you the illusion that you contour and yeah so I'm assuming this is super um highlight highlighting highlight you know what I mean <laughs> so I'm gonna just place it pretty much primarily where I would place my highlight and just looking at it and my on my fingers I could already see a little bit of shimmer which is not a bad thing also just by feeling it on my face I can already tell it's not gonna minimize my pores because usually the uh, pore minimizing primers I do use feel very silicone and like thick and this one feels like a lotion so by the way I did go to Walgreens to purchase all of these things and um, I'll share with you guys how much each product was um, this Milani was $8.99 so just in case you guys want to know it's under $10 I think everything I bought was under $10 so that's a plus. And for foundation, I was able to get my hands on the L'Oreal 24 hour foundation, the infallible total, total coverage. And I got mine in the color buff beige. It looks super dark on this little tube. So hopefully it matches my skin. And this foundation was, never mind, I, not everything was under $10. This foundation was $12.99. So it, it does seem a little pricey. It does seem a little pricey for the drugstore, but in the last few years, the drugstore have bumped up their prices, so I'm not too surprised. So I'm going to squirt in the back of my hand, like usual. So here it is. It's super thick, almost like a moussey consistency. And let's hope that this color matches me because I have been having bad luck matching my foundations. And I'm going to use the um, Real Technique, no, is it? Yeah, Real Technique sponge. And this one's super inexpensive too, it's like $4.99. So I just blended out the first layer of um, foundation. And it's not full coverage, at least not for me. I do have a few blemishes on my face. So I am going to add like a little bit more just on those just in those areas just so they don't peek through as much I already put a little bit on my hand and just a little I mean it is buildable but I figured as long as you can't see really the redness coming through peeking um through my face it's okay I'm liking how it's leaving my face it's leaving it super matte someone's thirsty <laughs> it's even it's super matte so I like that I'm gonna bring a little life back with the highlighting and stuff which I didn't get a highlight from the drugstore but I'm planning to use one of these eyeshadows and hopefully that works I'm gonna work with what I have this is how the foundation ended up looking I think it matched me pretty good I mean it looks a little darker on the tube, but once um, you squirt it out, it's not as dark. Unless it oxidizes on my face and it ends up looking like this, then we're going to have a problem. <laughs> so for concealer, I found this Milani Retouch Plus Erase Concealer. It looks like this. 
and I'm pretty excited. Kind of reminds me of the Maybelline, the one with the little sponge on top because this one as well has a sponge. Usually on my Maybelline concealer when I have on them, I take off the sponge because it kind of makes it feel like it's not very sanitary, but I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and whoa, squirt a little out and then just place it under my eyes. I did get the lightest shade. It's in Fair. Oh, and also this concealer was $9.99. The sponge isn't as soft as the Maybelline. It's not like squishing. It's more like very stiff. Which could be kind of not a good thing in my opinion because as I'm placing it on my face, I feel like it's rubbing off a little bit of my foundation. It gives me that feeling. I'm not saying it is, but maybe it's not. I mean, okay, so the foundation, I mean, the concealer is blended out. So I didn't find a setting powder, but I did see that L'Oreal did come out with a uh, setting powder, but they were all out. So I'm just going to use my NYC um, Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder, but I'm not going to bake with this powder because it does give you flashbacks. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour a little and I'm just going to set my whole face without setting it under my eyes or anything. So literally just dust it all off. Uh, just to touch bases on that concealer, I didn't feel like it covered complete my all my um my dark circles. I did feel like it was a little sheer. But then again, it doesn't claim to be full coverage or anything like that. Okay, so for um, eyebrows, I found this Revlon. I found this Revlon um, Color Stay Brow Pencil and I got it in dark brown. It comes with a spoolie and it's one of those retractable uh, pencils. It says up to 24 hours and it's waterproof. So I'm going to give this a try. There's honestly so much out in the drugstore and I did kind of go in with a mindset of just finding a few things from different brands but I did go after work so it was a little bit later on in the day and uh, there wasn't really much there. I was able to get what I got but I do want to go back to another Walgreens or CVS and see if I can find more of this stuff and I'll probably do another video of me using uh, new drugstore products. So anyway, so this one was one of the newer things from Revlon. So I'm going to go ahead and use it on my eyebrows. I like that it comes with a spoolie because it's just so convenient. You don't have to look for your spoolie or whatever. So this is um, the tip. It is a little big. It's not like the Anastasia that is a thin, um, a thin tip it kind of reminds me of the other one the define I think from Anastasia like a little bit bigger so let's give it a try it broke I broke so there goes five dollars of it <laughs> that's annoying so my eyebrows are on um, okay, so this Revlon pencil was $8.99. That's a little expensive for a brow pencil. It's a little pricey, but I mean, for me personally, it was a little bit hard to work with because my eyebrows aren't as thick. They're pretty thin, so I kind of have to create the shape that I want on my eyebrows. And the shape of this um pencil was a little weird because it's really thick and it's round so it doesn't really have like a sharp edge to it where i can kind of like define it but the consistency of it is pretty nice it's kind of creamy almost like the uh gel like the brow gels in a pencil so that's kind of nice but i just don't like the shape of it so the next thing I got was a palette from Wet n Wild. 
It's this one right here. It's the Pro Palette. Um, they did have another one, but I figured these colors were a little bit more of my style. And this palette here was this palette was six ninety nine. So these are the colors that come it comes with. Oh my god! So it goes from lighter to dark, obviously, and it comes with one of these little cheap brushes. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna create something with it really quick nothing too fancy um i'm gonna go more for a darker look just because i usually do the other way around so i'll just do something really quick um so i'm gonna go in with this matte shade right here this plummy look i mean plummy color and i'm gonna put it all over my lid let's see if it's pigmented So it's super pigmented, which is good. For $4.99, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colors. That's not bad. And if they're all pigmented like this, it's really worth it. And remember, uh, Wet and Wild is cruelty free. So if that's what you like to purchase, then this would be a good palette. So I'm going to get that color right next to it and put it on my lid and try to blend out those harsh lines it blends out really nice I'm actually really impressed with this palette now I regret not getting that other one that was there I, I don't know if they came out with two or three I only saw a display for two, but on the display case, I think there was a third palette. Sometimes I do um, hear like some of my friends and like people saying that it's a little hard to create um, dark looks or smoky eye. But like as you guys could see, I literally just used two colors and just by placing the dark color on my lid and then in the crease just kind of blending it out, it already looks good. Um, obviously you can add more colors to add more definition to it but if you're really beginning and you just get the whole blending technique down you could create a nice look with just two colors you don't really need to invest in so many palettes and so many high-end products you can literally just use a $4.99 palette and just create the looks that you want if you don't want a dark lid you can always just start off with a light color on your lid and then right here on the crease you just start off gently like pick up a little bit of product and just start you know blending it out little by little and then grab a little more and focus it on your inner I mean on your outer corner and then just kind of blend more and more and you can create that smoky effect super easily so with the little cheapy brush that it comes with I'm gonna just go ahead and grab um the second color right here this one's matte, but I want this one for the outer, I mean for the inner corners. That's my highlight. My inner corner highlight. And that's pretty much the look that I'm going to go for. I did just want to, you know, try out the products quickly and just give a simple, easy uh, first impressions review on these products. And for the palette, just to sum it all up, I would say that the colors are very pigmented. Um, especially the, the, um, especially the matte colors, I would say that those are super nice and they blend out nicely. So I just did a few quick swatches on my hand. As you guys could see, the darker colors are super pigmented and as the palette goes down, the colors, obviously they get lighter and lighter, um, but they're buildable, so. Okay, for eyeliner, I picked up this Wet n Wild Get the Skinny Laser Pers Precision in black. It does say it's new. I did get it on the little new display next to the palette. And they had like a mascara and uh, their foundation and concealer. This uh, uh, pencil was 4 dollars 
So it's super small, super thin. Wow. Let's give this a try. Wow. I didn't expect for it to be so pigmented. I'm telling you guys, Wet n Wild is stepping up their game. It's really pigmented and like it's easy to create that perfect line because it's so thin. Okay, so I put eyeliner on both eyes. I know it's a little hard to tell on camera because I did do a dark eye, but it's on there. <laughs> Okay, so I'm super excited to try out these lashes. I don't know why, but I've heard so much about them. Okay, so my eyelashes are on. I would have to say that I didn't like the glue. I actually didn't glue on the eyelashes at all. They were, I let them dry for like five minutes. Literally, I would put them to dry and I went to go do some stuff, came back. And I tried to put them on it didn't work. So I did use my dual glue. Another thing is that um, I did have to cut a little piece because they were long. So that's how much I cut. Whoops. That's how much I cut from each one. Because uh, they were too long for my eyes. Which everyone has different size of eyes, obviously. So whatever fits you, that's how you cut it. And if you don't have to cut it, then even better. But... um. I would have to say that they were a little hard to put on just because the lash band is really thick. So if you're a beginner, I would not try these for the first time because they are thick. Um, but I mean, besides that, I like them. I consider myself not a beginner, but not a pro. So I did struggle a little bit to put them on, but they're on now. And they are so for mascara i got this mascara it's uh wet and wild it wasn't new or anything i just got it because it was a dollar <laughs> and i think originally it was three dollars okay so i'm gonna just put a little bit this is the wand it looks like the their real wand from benefit it has the same little teeth and stuff Quickly, I'm going to go back into my palette and I'm just going to grab that dark shade I used and put on my outer corner just to make it blend in with my top. For the rest of my face, I'm just going to use some of my e.l.f. products. I didn't get anything for the face. I think actually that was it for all the new products that I got. So I didn't really get much, but I mean, that's all they had. So I'm just going to finish up my face using this um, warm bronze from e.l.f. Looks like this. I'm actually not really liking how this is turning out. So I'm going to use this other one. It has like a darker color. It's the... Antigua from e.l.f. Should come out more. There we go. I'm going to use this uh, Wet n Wild in Rose Champagne. For highlighter, I wanted to try to use one of these um, eyeshadows just to see if it works as a highlighter. But if it doesn't, then I'm going to go in with this um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in crown of my caponi but first let's try this eyeshadow so i'm gonna go ahead and try the middle color just because it's the lightest and it has a little bit of shimmer okay that's not gonna work for me um i feel like it's kind of taking off a little bit of my foundation so i'm just gonna go in with a highlighter so worth a try. Maybe if you spray it, then it'll work, but... I 
I know not everybody likes to highlight so extreme for like every day, but I'm more of a strobing than contouring, I would think. Yeah, because I'd rather uh, be glowy and highlighty instead of contoured just because of my dry skin, but everyone's different. So I'm going to go in with this uh, NYX Pop pop explosive color looks like this um from their butter lipsticks and i'm gonna top it off with the city color lip gloss with argan oil i got one i got this in one of my monthly boxes so there's the color these aren't like matte or anything they are buttery but I did just want to add this just on top, just to top it off. Gives it a little extra shine. So this is pretty much what I came up with. Before I end this video, I did want to um, share with you guys that I did also get these um, Nature's Way Activating char Charcoal in High Absorbency. Um, I got these for my teeth. I did hear that you could whiten your teeth with these, so I went ahead and I picked these up. And I just wanted to share with you guys if anybody's tried it before or do they actually work. I mean, I have seen like um tut not tutorials um reviews that it does work, so I wanted to try it out myself. But if any of you guys have used it, let me know. <laughs> just a random pickup at the drugstore. Okay guys, so this is what I came up with all my drugstore new products that I picked up. Um, some weren't so new and some were, but I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this super easy, uh, I guess first impressions? Yeah. So yeah, hope you guys liked it. And if you did, let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.